Hello everyone, this is Chandrasekhar. Welcome to Chandu Biology classes. So friends, in this particular class, we are going to discuss about the IIT Jump 2023 Biotechnology, the strategic timetable preparation and how exactly we have to crack this particular exam in just one attempt. And friends, we all people know that the exam date is already released. The exam is going to be held in the month of February 12th. So friends, hardly we are having 10 days in the month of November and we are having 31 days in the December, 31 days in the January and 12 days in the February. So friends, we will be having an average of 65 to 75 days of time. Now you can ask me, sir, if I start my preparation right now, can I crack the IIT jam exam really? Friends, it absolutely depends on you whether you are having a good basic knowledge on the subject or not. And we all people aware that every single question that is coming in the IIT Jam Biotechnology exclusively from a very basic. Even you don't get uh, advanced level of questions. You don't get much experimental or analytical questions at all. You will get a very straightforward questions. So friends, for all of you, from the December 1st onwards, from December 1st onwards, uh, we are starting one intensive revision batch. So friends, uh, what I am going to do in this particular batch, in this particular batch friends, uh, which is commencing from the December 1st, I will focus uh, all over the syllabus. See, you all people aware, so the biology having the highest weight is 44%, followed by the chemistry having 22%, then followed by the physics and mathematics having the lesser percentage. Most of the students will ask me one question that, all the time they will ask this. Sir, I am from a biotechnology category and I am from a science background, I will always feel difficulty in the physics as well as the mathematics. Now the question people ask is, can I skip the physics and mathematics and still is there any chance that I can crack the exam? I can use the word 70 to 30 percent of chances are there, you know, 70, 30, which means 70 percent I can confidently tell you in the physics and in the mathematics, if you read even very important chapters and if you leave remaining syllabus, you can easily crack this particular IIT jam exam. See friends, uh, most of the people will read uh, in a random manner. See, seriously, they don't know what exactly they are reading. Always remember in the competitive exams, uh, it is always important uh, what is the way of reading. It is not important how many hours we read. It is only important how much we remember. So friends, uh, in this particular batch, uh, which is commencing from the December 1st, I will be covering uh, all the important topics from all over the syllabus. See, I am giving you the strategic timetable right away. What are the topics that I am going to cover in this particular December batch? So, throughout the syllabus, I am covering from the biology 70 to 75 topics <coughs> and the chemistry faculty will cover 60 to 65 topics and in the physics and mathematics, we will be covering a very few topics which will be more than sufficient to crack the exam. And first of all, before cracking the exam, Many students are asking, sir, please uh, give us a valid timetable, you know, very good timetable by that we can follow the timetable very strictly. So for all of you friends, uh, I have made the timetable which is a day wise. How to study? How many hours to study? Friends, uh, before preparing for any competitive exam, any competitive exam, every student has to remember their category as well as the cutoff of, for the examination. And you know, just I am explaining to all of you, everyone please look into this. If you look into the 2022, friends, if you look into the 2022, what you can observe? So the cutoff will be 35.25%, that's all. So if you get a 36 marks, you qualify the IIT Jam Biotechnology exam. For the OBC or non creamy layer or EWS candidate, it is just 31. And if you look into the STSC, 17. See friends, here I kept an average of 3 years. Now, you only tell me, first I am talking about the general category students. Tell me friends, out of 100 marks, getting 35 marks is really a difficult task. Not at all, right? So if it's an STSC student, out of 100 marks, getting 18 marks is really difficult. It's not at all, you know? Even though you play Inky Binky Ponky also, you can easily qualify the exam. Seriously, I'm saying. But if you want to see, qualifying is not at all difficulty in case of the 
IIT Jam Biotechnology exam. What is difficult getting the rank? If you belong to a general category students, on average, if you want to get in a prestigious institution like IIT or IAS friends, your ranks or your marks should be in the 50, 55 to 60. I am talking about the very premier institutes. Suppose if you want to get in the any kind of a NITs, okay, so or at least in case of the ISERs, at least your score should be 52, 53. Friends, I am exclusively talking about the general category student. When it comes to the OBC, SC, ST, you keep reducing 10 to 12 marks. Okay, but if you want to get into any IIT or NIT, keep it in your mind very correctly. Qualifying IIT jump never ever assure that you are going to get the rank compulsory. So you should not dependent on only the qualifying marks. You should always score for the highest marks. Now you can ask me a valid question. Now please every student remember and listen to me. If you want to get a 55 to 60 marks out of 100, you have to analyze the question paper very correctly. If you analyze the question paper of 2022 biotechnology, how many number of marks that has come only from the biology? Only from the biology. I am talking about the an average, okay? An average we got, uh, you know, remember my words, uh, 45 to 55 marks we got exclusively from the biology itself. Okay, the remaining three subjects has, a, you know, share the marks of 40 to 50. But th this never happens all the time. But if you ask me, on average, sir, from uh, out of 100, how many marks we will get uh, exclusively from the biology? I can tell to all of you, it will be in the range of uh, 35 to 50. It is uh, an average. I am using the word average. Okay, so if you very thorough with biology and... Uh, chemistry and even though you do very little in the physics and chemistry trust my words you are going to crack the exam in the first attempt without having any kind of a doubt okay now here comes the most important one okay you remember the cutoff now you know how many marks you have to get in order to enter into the iit or nit according to the category now how to study in the span of 70 days and how to crack this particular exam now first question does all the questions in the iit jump will comes from only basic I can use a word, 80% of the IIT jam questions are very basic, very, very basic. To be honest, when I have analyzed the paper of 2022-2021, what we observed that not even a single biology question also asked in a difficult level. Every biology question is a very basic level and some biology questions are very medium level. To be honest, most of the questions did not cross even the level of the NCRT also. So that is the reason, you know, you should be very excel in the basics. Now friends, I think every student has seen the syllabus of the 2023 IIT Jam Biotechnology. If you look into the syllabus, the syllabus is very vast. What are the various topics that we have to read in the biology friends? In case of a biology, we have to read majorly cell biology, plant physiology, human physiology, ecology, evolution, genetics, RDNA technology, microbiology and most importantly techniques in biology also. There are many units are there but we are having a less period of time. So in the less period of time how to cover maximum number of topics and for in order to overcome all these, I came up with a wonderful timetable for all of you. I only made the timetable for you. You people know need to maintain the timetable also or manage the timetable also. If you strictly follow this timetable, I am giving you 100% assurance. If you really work hard, undoubtedly you will crack this particular exam with a very, very good rank. Okay. Now friends, see here, everyone remember how I manage this particular timetable for all of you. <clears throat> Once again, I am telling to all of you friends, I have managed the timetable from all the units. It is not exactly according, according to the unit wise. Suppose example, there are there is a cell biology chapter. In the cell biology chapter, in the IIT Java exam, an example I am talking about, example, we are getting 4 to 5 questions or 4 to 5 marks, say an example. So, from which topics we are getting the questions very often. We are getting very valid question compulsory from the cell signaling, cell communication, cell organelles and cell division. 
From these four topics, we are getting the question very frequently. An example, if you take biochemistry, from the amino acid, from the proteins, from the nucleic acid, we are getting the questions very often. If you look into the molecular biology, especially from the enzymes and uh, the antibiotics inhibiting the translation, transcription, replication, these are all the ways how we are expecting the questions. So, I have designed the timetable for you people in such a way that I have covered all the units according to the topic wise and you know very well sir how many days that I have to spend on one unit this is the old method now what you do is you don't uh, spend your time on entire unit just spend your time on one topic enough just spend your time only on one topic you should read that topic in such a way that how difficult the question they may ask you should be in a position to answer it so now what i have done all the students please look into the uh, slides for all of you friends i have made look into this look into this please okay i have made total of 91 topics how many 91 topics how i made so please don't think that i have made a chapter wise no i have made most important topic wise okay i did not merge or i did not merge all the units at a time see how i have desired is one difficult topic one easy topic one difficult unit and other difficult unit suppose example if you look into the biochemistry and cell biology which is the most toughest one undoubtedly the biochemistry so if you're reading biochemistry continuously every single day you will feel you know you you feel very difficult and you extremely get bored also so i have designed the timetable in such a way that it will cover you only look at this one biochemistry and second day it will cover cell biology third day biochemistry fourth day cell biology fifth day biochemistry sixth day cell biology and you people know need to read every topic which are the topic that i am highlighting which are the topic that i am going to teach in the crash course which is going to start from the december first if you really prepare that ultimately you can crack the exam it's my responsibility to give you wonderful knowledge and it's my responsibility to help you to reach that particular level of understanding the concepts see after biochemistry and cell biology see how, how i have designed i have designed a molecular biology as well as the genetics so how i have made one easy topic one difficult topic in every unit i did not keep all the uh, subtopics i kept the topics which are exclusively asked in the exam only in that way i have made the timetable of total 90 to 91 topics it is not at all difficult to cover this 90 to 91 topics in the span of 75 days. You can easily crack it. It's my responsibility to cover all this. See friends, I have made the exclusive timetable for biology. And see here, I have made the gaps for the physics, chemistry and mathematics. Now, I already told you, I am not talking about every single student. I am talking about the students who are feeling uh, uh, physics and mathematics are extremely difficult. For you people only, I will only provide, once you join the crash course, I will only provide the most important topics for the physics, the most important topics for the mathematics, which you have to follow compulsory, which you have to follow compulsory. And in case of a physics and mathematics, I, we don't provide all 65 topics to 90 topics. You can't study that. Physics and mathematics, including, hardly I will provide 30 to 40 topics. Trust my words, if you really follow the 30 to 40 topics, you can easily crack the exam. When it comes to the chemistry, we will provide 60 topics. So, biology 90, chemistry 60 to 65, physics and mathematics including not more than 40 to 45. If you strictly follow this particular timetable, I will give the assurance that if you strictly follow, okay, I will give you the assurance that you can easily get a minimum 40 as well as depending on your level of preparation, you can score up to 55. Okay, now you can ask me, sir, uh, I am a college-going student. I am a college-going student. How many hours I have to study? It's a very good question. <clears throat> Most of the people who are writing the jam, they are 90% who are in the third year. And people who are writing the jam, mostly they are in the second year as well. So remember, it doesn't matter for me whether you are in the second year, whether you are in the third year. If you want to crack this IIT jam exam in this 75 days I am talking about, you have to read minimum, minimum 4.5 hours or least 4 hours. I am not discouraging any one of you friends. I am telling the you know, fact. If you don't spend 4 hours on the preparation, trust my words, 
you never ever crack this particular exam so suppose example if you are reading 4 hours spend 2 hours on biology because which is the weight is and you know one or two hours on the physics as well as chemistry okay and give the highest importance to the chemistry then either physics or mathematics because we are not reading everything right we are reading only the topics that we are highlighting in our time table or which we are going to discuss in our crash course okay so if you read four hours per day if you strictly follow the time table 100% you will qualify the exam once you join the course i will guide you step by step i will give the personalized time table for every student how many number of hours you have to study how to study okay so friends uh, please join this crash course if you look into your seniors uh, there are many students uh, who qualified under my guidance and who are currently doing uh, their integrated phds uh, in the iisc and some people are studying in the iit karakpur some people are studying in various kind of isers it's all about how hard work you are doing uh, during the time of uh, you know during the time of your preparation so we will be always there to help you okay so if anyone wants to register for this particular crash course which is commencing from the <coughs> december 1st so please download the chandu biology classes app from the play store and please call on this particular number okay so the number which is displaying here okay so we will be there to help you in every aspect okay thank you friends i'll meet you in the next session thank you so much